Hey guys, Julie here from Julie Aaron Designs. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm an artist and I work in both traditional and digital mediums and I sell my art online through print-on-demand websites. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I just bought myself this Apple iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil to go with it. And um, I don't really use Apple products that much. I use Photoshop mainly for creating my digital artwork. So I wanted to do kind of an unboxing and reaction and then um, download and use the Procreate app, which is what most of the professional um, illustrators and artists are using nowadays. So um, yeah, let's just get started with that. So here I have the Apple iPad Pro, as you can see. I had it upside down. It's the 128 gigabytes, 11 inch, third generation. And I just bought it on, uh, on Amazon for $999 Canadian. And the pen was 150 Canadian. So that's from amazon.ca. And um, yeah, it said it was the 2021 version, but I'm, I don't know really much about Apple products. I thought they were past the third generation for the iPad, so I'm guessing I got it a little bit cheaper than I would have for the super brand new one, although it, did, it was listed as the 2021 Apple iPad Pro 11 inch. So. I don't know, you guys tell me if this is the latest version of the iPad Pro. I have a feeling it's not, but that's okay. I mean, it's the Pro version, it's the size that I wanted, and as far as I know, it's gonna work for my needs using the Procreate app with the second gen um, Apple Pencil, which I have here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open these up. I noticed they have these tabs here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unwrap the packaging and this one and we'll start with this watch me struggle with this <laughs> And there she is. Now, oh, there we go. Now definitely, ooh, it feels very, very thin and light. Wow. Yeah, I had an iPad like a long time ago. Like I think the first gen iPad I actually had. And uh, it was definitely thicker than this one. But yeah, like I said, I didn't have, I haven't used iPad products or Apple products a lot, but I did have a iPhone back in the day and um, yeah, an old iPad, but I was never really happy with them. I mean, they just got really slow and anyway, hopefully this will be a different experience. Now, oh, here's the accessories. Got this warranty information probably in here. And it comes with this guy oh, and the cable. Sorry for my fumbling about. <laughs> okay, bring this over. Now let's do the pen. Oops, slides out, super easy. More information, I'm guessing. And here it is. Oh. Oh, I love that part. It feels nice. It feels kind of like rubbery almost. And the tip is definitely rubbery. Now, I didn't get a screen protector for this, so I don't know. Do, if there's other Apple users watching this, do you guys use a screen protector on your iPad? Or I know that you can get one that kind of feels like the surface of paper when you're drawing on it. Um, so maybe I'll have to look into getting something like that, but anyway, I mean, it feels very like nice to use and the weight is nice. All right, well, I'm going to, um, clean this up and 
you know, probably have to charge this up, turn it on, and I'm gonna download and purchase the Procreate app. And then I'm going to demonstrate trying to use it for the first time with no prior experience and only experience with like Photoshop and have sort of Windows based uh, art software. So I'll be back in a few seconds with that. Okay, so I've got the iPad all set up here. It was already kind of soiled by my fingers, so I definitely think I need to get some sort of screen protector or just keep it really clean all the time. I don't know about that. Uh, I also discovered that this kind of snaps onto here. I guess that's how it charges. Yeah, you can see it comes up there with the charging. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's really well magnetized on there. Okay, so I've downloaded Procreate, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. And this is my first time even seeing any of this. Just gonna kinda take a look through here. Guessing this is how you set up the new canvas. Okay, let's just start with a default, whatever, I don't care. Uh, that sounds fine. Great, okay, cool, okay. Um, so let's see what kind of tools we have here. So that looks like a brush. Okay, and here's all the different brushes. And I know you can create your own brushes and install different brushes, so I look forward to doing that. But let's just play around. Oh wow, there's a lot of brushes actually that come with it. That's really neat actually. Let's take a look through these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on it. Oh, ooh, I love that, okay. Now one thing, oh, how do you undo, I'm guessing? Oh, okay, so this, no, oh, okay. That's kind of what I was trying to figure out how to do. Okay, there we go. Cool, so now, so if I use both hands, that doesn't work. Okay, good to know. <laughs> One-handed, zoom. Ooh, it zooms in a lot. <laughs> well, you can zoom way, way in, okay. Hmm. Awesome. Love that. That looks like an eraser, yep. And then, okay, here's my layers. Cool, cool, okay. Just gonna play around with some of these different settings. Oh, okay, here's my adjustments. A lot of things that are similar to Photoshop here, they're just kind of found in a different place, I guess. Liquify, that sounds interesting. Oh, that didn't do anything. Definitely have to figure out, oh, okay, twirl. Ooh, I like that. loving this so far. Don't know what this is. Oh, oh, that's kind of like a pen tool, I'm guessing. Create shapes. All right, wow. Masterpiece, right? <laughs> let's go back. Um, okay, what's this guy? Oh, that's just a selection tool. Oh, very cool. Okay, so it's just selecting the whole layer, I'm guessing. Very cool. Well, I'm definitely going to be playing around a lot more with this today and probably doing a bunch of tutorials. Um, I have my Skillshare membership, which they have like a ton of Procreate tutorials on there. Um, I'll link it down below in case you're interested in Skillshare. It's really great just for, for art classes and all that kind of stuff. I even have my own class on there. So definitely check that out. And um, I hope you guys found this video interesting. I know it was kind of just me playing around with my new toy here. Maybe inspired you to get your own iPad or, you know, play around and procreate yourself. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.